Father, we thank you. Lord Jesus, we honor you. Holy Spirit, we know you are here. We thank you for bringing us here tonight, for gathering all your children far and near to partake of this first Holy Communion service of 2022. Father, for all you have done in 2021, receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. We commit everything that will take place here tonight into your able hands. We pray, Lord God Almighty, as we partake of your body and drink of your blood, you will do fresh things in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask, Lord God Almighty, as we go through this year, you will take us higher, because at the higher place is where the air is fresher. We pray, Lord God Almighty, that like never before, you will anoint our Father in the Lord. Even as he comes to go through the service tonight, we pray, Lord, that power from on high, you will endure him with in the name of Jesus Christ. As we go through the service of tonight, let Jesus alone be lifted. Let the Holy Spirit continue to guide us through and let your name be glorified forever. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Glory be to your name forever. For in the mighty name of Jesus we have prayed. Let a living soul shout hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. If you're glad you are here at this hour, give glory to God. Hallelujah. This night, we will be taking our Bible reading for the Holy Communion service, the first of its kind in the year 2022. Glory to God in the highest. I want you to open with me to the book of First Corinthians, chapter 2, 11, verse 23 to 34. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 23 to 34. Amen. I read. Verse 23. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is a new testament in my blood. This do he has oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that, that cup for he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not the son in the Lord's body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we will judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to it, sorry one for another. Verse 34, the last verse. And if any man hunger, 
let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation, and the rest will I set in order when I come. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in our hearts, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, let somebody shout a new year kind of hallelujah. Let us pray. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. My Redeemer, you are worthy. kings, you are worthy. Lord of lords, you are worthy. Ancient of days, you are worthy. Alpha and Omega, you are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be adored. You are worthy to be magnified. Please accept our worship in Jesus' name. Father, we are aware that not all those who said Happy New Year are still alive now. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for preserving us. Accept our worship in Jesus' name. Tonight, as we gather together once again to dine with you, we pray that you will breathe fresh air on us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let someone shout another hallelujah. Well, wave at one or two people once again and say, Happy New Year. God bless you. And you may please be seated. First Kings chapter 19, from verse 4 to 8. First Kings chapter 19, from verse 4 to 8. And he, that is Elijah, himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a juniper tree. 
and he requested for himself that he might die, and said, It is enough now, O Lord. Take away my life, for I am not better than my father's. And as he lay and slept under a juniper tree, behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. And he looked, and behold, there was a cake baking on the coals, and a cruise of water at his head. And he did eat and drink, and laid him down again. And the angel of the Lord came again the second time, and touched him, and said, Arise and eat, because the journey is too great for thee. And he arose, and did eat and drink, and went in the strength of that meat forty days and forty nights unto Horeb, the mount of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will reach your goal. Yeah. Those of you who are sportsmen or sportswomen, you probably know about something called the second wind. In case you don't know, I will explain it to you briefly. You see, when you are running a long race, particularly a marathon, and you've been running for kilometers, and you become tired automatically, at times, you get so tired, you feel like stopping. And so, you, you slow down, your head bent, every part of your body aching, and you begin to breathe very heavily. And then all of a sudden, an energy that you never knew you had began to surge forward in your body. You take a deep breath and you say, ah, I can finish, I can win, and then you begin to run again. And as you run, you seem to get stronger and stronger and stronger. That stage where you breathe in deeply and this new strength begins to surge forward, we call it getting the second wind. And there's somebody here tonight who is going to get a second wind. We'll probably talk a little more about that tomorrow. You see, life is a marathon. Hebrews chapter 12 from verse 1 to 2, Hebrews 12 from verse 1 to 2 tells us that we have to run with patience the race that is set before us. Life is not a sprint. It is a marathon. Elijah had been running he ran from Mount Carmel all down to Jezreel. First King chapter 8, sorry, First King chapter 18, verse 46. First Kings 18, verse 46. He ran before the chariot of Ahab all the way to Jezreel. That was a long run. Then just as he was about to begin to rest, news came from Jezebel. I'm coming for your head. So he began to run again. First King chapter 19 from verse 1 to 4. First King chapter 19 from verse 1 to 4. By the time we got to verse 4 there, he had become worn out. 
He couldn't run anymore. And so he fell asleep. And then something happened. God woke him up, gave him food to eat, water to drink. And the Bible says he got up and with the new energy that he now got, he traveled for 40 days and 40 nights. He got a second wind. And then he now began to run the rest of his race. By the time you get to 1 Kings chapter 21, from verse 17 to 24, 1 Kings 21, 17 to 24, he came face to face with Ahab. And Ahab saw him, and Ahab was frightened and said, Ah, you are here again, my enemy. He said, Yes, I'm here. He was running away from Jezebel, but now he came to decree how Jezebel was going to end. He kept running, and as he ran, he got stronger and stronger, no longer running from his enemies, but in second one from verse 1 to 17, Second Kings 1 from verse 1 to 17, he was sitting down, calling down fire on his enemies. Like the fellow who prayed said, when you are on the mountain top, the air is fresh. And he kept on running breathing fresh air until finally, victoriously, he went to heaven. Second Kings chapter 2, from verse 9 to 11. Second Kings 2, 9 to 11. The Bible said he went with a wild wind to heaven. Tonight, I want to invite you to a meal that is going to give you a second wind. The kind of fresh air that will give you an energy humanly possible so that from now on you will run your race, you will run well, you will run fast, you will end well. Because Elijah got a second wind when he ate a meal. A meal not prepared by man, but prepared by God. He didn't ask where the bread came from, he ate. He didn't ask where the water came from, he drank. Tonight, the bread we are going to take is symbolic of the body of Christ. The wine we are going to drink is symbolic of the blood of Jesus Christ. We're about to partake of a meal that is symbolically prepared by God himself as we eat and drink fresh air from heaven. We blow on your body, on your soul, on your spirit. And if you thought you are getting tired, suddenly you discover, no, I am waxing stronger. Yeah. And from tonight onward, it will be upward ever, yeah. downward never. Yeah. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Yeah. That is why 
the Holy Communion is not an ordinary meal. I've hammered this again and again. You don't eat it on what they lay. You don't eat it with sin in your life. You don't eat it as if it's an ordinary meal. It isn't. It says you eat it on what they lay can kill. Eat it worthily. You can heal. You can give victory over forces of darkness. So before we come to the table tonight, because I don't want to delay, I want the wind to blow. If you are here and you have not surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, if you know you are still living in sin, I beg you, Come and give your life to Jesus Christ. Let him save your soul. Let his blood wash you clean. Or oh, you are backsliding and you know it. You know you have, you have gone back to doing things you say you will never do again. Come. Come and be restored to the almighty God. Or oh, for one reason or the other, you are holding a grudge against your brother or your sister. The Bible says if you eat without discerning the body, if you don't forgive your brother, your sister, and you partake of this meal, the repercussion will be grievous. So I'm calling you now. If you need to repent, come. If you need restoration, come. I will count from one to five. By the time I say five, if you are not here, I know you are not coming, and we will proceed. And as you come, cry to the Lord Jesus Christ. Save my soul, O Lord. Cleanse me in your blood or restore me to fellowship with you. I want to serve you in spirit and in truth. Father, help me because I want my own second wind tonight. One. Two. Three. Four. Thank you, Father. Those of you who are still on the way, hurry up, because we want to pray now. Those of you who are already in front, cry to the Almighty God, Lord, have mercy on me. Save my soul. I will serve you. Forgive all my sins. Let your blood wipe away my sins. And I will be yours forever. Restore me to fellowship with you. If you are a backslider, call on him. And the rest of us, please, let's stretch our hands towards these people. Let's intercede for them. Let us pray that the Almighty God who saved our souls, who saved their own souls also, that God will give them genuine salvation and give them a brand new beginning. Pray for them, brethren. Pray for them. For one, one more minute. Anybody else on the way? Hurry up. We want to pray for salvation and for restoration. Come to the Lord now. He will have mercy on you and save your soul.
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Almighty God, I want to thank you for your word. I want to thank you for these people who have responded to the altar call. Here and in all the viewing centers. Father, please receive them. Save their souls. And I pray, Lord God Almighty, that your blood will wipe away all their sins. Write their names in the book of life and receive them into the family of God. And I pray that they would never, never backslide. And every backslider that has decided to come back to you, Lord, please restore them all. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. I rejoice with those of you who have come forward tonight. I promise you from now on, by God's grace, I'll be praying for you. So I need your names, your address, and your prayer requests. And so if you turn to your left, you will see somebody carrying a placard. Kindly follow that person. It will take you to where some pastors are waiting. They will collect the information I need, and they bring you back very quickly. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Like I told you this year, if you want to clap, you clap. If you don't want, you don't have to. The more you clap, the greater will be your blessing. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Tonight, when you take the bread, your prayer will be that the Almighty God will breathe on your body. When it is time to take the wine, I will teach you again how to pray. When they serve you the wine, you hold it on till we have all been served. And as soon as I give the signal for the bread, you can go ahead and eat and pray. God bless you, pastors. I think we will have to move a little faster. May God breathe on our pastors and give them additional strength and speed. Thank you, Father. As soon as we eat the bread, your prayer is, Father, breathe on my body. Breathe on my body. If he breathes on your body, your body will receive wholeness, power, and strength. The Lord Jesus, the very night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, 
and said, Take, eat, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go ahead, eat, and cry unto him, Father, please breathe on my body. You're the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. You are. You are. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man. You are Jehovah. Yes, you are. You are Jehovah. Yes, you are. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. Yes, you are. You are the mighty man of war. Your name is Jehovah, Jehovah. You are the life inside of me. Your name is Jehovah, Jehovah. You are the bright that I bring. You are the
If you have not been served bread, will you please shout hallelujah? Good. If you have not been served wine, will you please shout hallelujah? I think I, if I had anybody at all, it would be one fellow fire away. If you, if you have not been served, please come and collect. The rest of us, shall we please stand? When you drink the wine tonight, <clears throat> I want you to cry to the Almighty God and say, Father, breathe on my soul, breathe on my spirit. Let me finish the rest of my race in life successfully. It's a prayer you must pray with all your heart. When you pray that prayer with understanding, and for a couple of minutes, go ahead and pray in the spirit.
After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, breathe on my soul, breathe on my spirit, give me a second wind, let me be able to run the rest of my race successfully, accurately. Speedily, correctly, so that I will finish well and finish strong to the glory of your name. Breathe on my soul, Lord. Breathe on my spirit. Give me the second wind for the rest of the journey. Ramu shike karinde kere moku shanda, ike moku shantra moku runde kere makakatunde, inke rendra moku shike renda rama kakoto romoku shanda, ma runde ramu koko tunde rama kashike kere moku tunde, inke rama koko runde rama kashike moku tunde rama kashanda. Kerendre moko shike tendre rama kashoko tunde kere makaka tunde kere moko shanda kere moko shika tere tete tere moko tunde kere moko shante. Oh, thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Ramuki shakete tre re mukutunda re mukukuru mukut shakata re re mukutunda eke 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 re re mukuru re re makal shakete re re mukuru re re makal shakata. Thank you, Father. Ramuku shinda mukuku tunda re ke re mukutunda ke re makal tunda re ke re mukut shakete re makata. Breathe on me, O oh breath of heaven. Breathe on me, Lord. Breathe on my soul, on my spirit. And a second wind, Lord. And on the rest of my race, with supernatural strength, supernatural energy, supernatural grace. Supernatural wisdom, supernatural understanding, supernatural anointing, Raki Rumoko Shika Ramaka, Tatipere Mokotone, Ikeke Rundra Mamaka Kukukere Mokoshebe. Oh Lord, breathe on me. Breathe on me. Ah, thank you, Father. Give me second. Thank you, Lord.
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's remain an attitude of worship as we sit down, pass our cups to the aisles, and then take our offering as a sign of gratitude to the Almighty God. And when you've taken the offering, you lift it up to the Almighty God and pray a simple prayer and say, Father, breathe on my finances. Let's go ahead and lift the offering to the Almighty God and pray that simple prayer. Breathe on my finances, O Lord. Just breathe on my finances. To breathe on my finances, I know there will be a resurrection. There will be a revival in my finances, a resurgence new exponential increase, massive breakthrough. Breathe on my finances, O Lord, for the glory of your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, with joy in our heart, we dance to the nearest basket, drop our offering, and then we'll say the closing prayer. Over to you, Ben. You are worthy, oh Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, oh Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, you are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, oh Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, oh Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy to be magnified. You are worthy, oh Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, oh Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, oh Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, my Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy.
worship you. Everything about you, Lord, is mysterious and yet very effective. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you that the siege is over. Thank you it is time for fresh air. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Even right now, Father, breathe on us. Breathe on our body, our soul, our spirit. Give us extraordinary health, supernatural strength, miraculous abilities. Lord, let us be able to run the rest of our race with success. And Lord God Almighty, I pray for every one of your children who had partaken of this particular Holy Communion service, that even before tomorrow, they will have testimonies. <laughs> Father, bless their offering, yeah. sanctify it, yeah. use it for your glory. Yeah. Breathe on our finances, O Lord. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Well, if you believe that God has already breathed on you, let me hear you shout hallelujah. I don't need to tell you that tomorrow Holy Ghost service is going to be unique. I'm sure you know that already. But tell your friends, tell your relatives, there are certain things you don't sit down at home to listen to. There are certain blessings you need to receive direct. I will see you tomorrow with your testimonies, Jesus. Christ. One more shout of hallelujah. Glory be to God. You agree with me that indeed it has been a great time in God's presence, feasting at the Lord's table, and God is leading us to a brighter future in the name of Jesus. The theme for this Holy Communion service is fresh air. And so I pray that the Lord will breathe upon your body, breathe upon your spirit, and breathe upon your soul in the name of Jesus Christ. Your life will never be the same every spheres of your life the lord will greet on you in the name of jesus thank you all so much for joining us for the live broadcast of the january holy communion service with the theme fresh and join us tomorrow for the holy communion holy ghost service just like you heard from our father and the lord if you don't want to sit at home come here to the redemption camp come and see how god will turn your life and give you fresh air in the name of jesus thank you all so much and have a wonderful night rest my name is sabrina osma god bless you the siege is over